guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to add a contour cut line in Silhouette Studio, uh, and then you have to take it into Adobe Illustrator, and then you can use it for your Roland BN20. So it seems like this is a complicated process, but once you get this, um, the steps down, it's really very simple, especially if you are really proficient and comfortable in Silhouette Studio, which obviously I am, and I know many of you probably are too. So let's bring a file in. We're simply going to go to file open and find the file that we want to bring into silhouette studio i'm going to use this png file of a little of a um pumpkin that we have here and we need to create a cut line around the very outside edge of this so that the Roland can cut it now as you know in versaworks you need to have a cut line you can't add the cut line the contour cut line directly in Roland. so or excuse me, in VersaWorks. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna trace this design using the trace tool, and you are going to increase the threshold all the way until the entire image is yellow. And then you're gonna click trace outer edge. This is going to put a cut line on the very outside edge of your design, okay? You can't even really see it right now, but I'm gonna show you that it is there this red line. I'm gonna move it away a little bit just so you can see. Okay, so see we have the red line there. You wanna make sure that you have uh, the, the cut line that you just made selected. So you can select both and then deselect the actual image itself. So hold down shift and then click on your image. Now you have just the cut line. You can see that one's red, so I'm gonna change that to teal, which now you can see if I zoom really close, okay? All right, now we are just going to export the design and the cut line. So we're gonna hold our mouse down, select both, and we're gonna go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive. Now you will need Business Edition to do this, so we're gonna save this as a PDF file. You could also save as a JPEG or a PNG. I prefer PDF so that the colors kinda stay where they are, and then we're gonna use, I'm just gonna put in here, I'm just gonna put AI in front of this one to keep it straight, okay, for myself. All right, then you're gonna launch Adobe Illustrator and you are going to open that file that you just exported from Silhouette Studio. So here it is. That will open up in Illustrator, all right? And then what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the Roland um, swatch <clears throat> already installed in Illustrator. Okay, so you need to bring that into Illustrator if you haven't already. That is a couple of steps. So if you haven't done that already, I have another video that you can uh, watch through the link down in the comments. Assuming that you already have it, what we are gonna do is we wanna select that path line. So you can see when I hover, hover over the pumpkin, I have that blue line. That's the line around our image. But if you hover over near the edge, you'll see where it has a very small, it says path. So that's what we want to click on. I'll click on path. All right. And then I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to click on swatch library and I'm going to click on roll in VersaWorks. Okay. So this is the custom library that we brought in swatch library. And we have to use this very pink this very specific color pink. This is gonna come in automatically when you bring in the Roll and VersaWorks li swatch library. So we're gonna click that, all right? Now what you'll notice is if you look very closely, which is hard to see here, but whoops, if you look very, very closely around here, the path line has now changed to that pink. Now if I hover over this pink, you can see it's called cut contour. That's very, important that you make sure that you're using the one that's called cut contour. Don't use any of these other ones, okay? All right, now, that's all we have to do in Illustrator. Now we just need to go up to File and Save As. So I'm going to save to my computer. I'm gonna tell this that I want it to be the PDF. I'm gonna just rename it here so we know which one that we wanna import into um, VersaWorks and we're gonna save that as a PDF. Now, I'm on a Mac. VersaWorks doesn't work on a Mac. It only works on a PC. So what I do is I then bring my files into G Drive. So I go to New, File Upload. If you're not on this type of computer, you don't have this type of limitation, then you're all set. 
but this is a limitation that I have being on a Mac with VersaWorks for Roland not working on a Mac. All right. Again, if you're doing everything on your PC, this part is not necessary for you. This is just the way that I easily move files and quickly from my Mac where I do everything and then onto the PC, which I have to use for VersaWorks. Okay, so we're downloading that file. Okay, and then we're gonna move over to VersaWorks and we're gonna click File, Add Job to Queue. Now, I, as you can see, I already have a bunch of files in here. I'm gonna use QC just because that one's blank and it'll be brand new so it'll show up for us uh, more easily. All right, and it's gonna ask us which one we wanna use. So here we are, we're using the one that says Use that we named and I'll click Open. And if you don't see it right away, it's because right now I'm in QA, here's QB. I need to move to QC. And here is our file. Now, right here where it says special items and it has the A, that's how we know we have the cut lines there. And that's exactly what we want. If we didn't have this little A, our cut lines wouldn't be there. So let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at this file. So we're gonna right click and click settings and a box is going to pop up, all right? So here's all your settings, but we're gonna go specifically, because we're looking at this cut line, we're gonna go to file format, and you might not be able to see too easily here. Let me see if I can zoom in. But that red cut line that we created is on there. It's kind of flashing a little bit, and that's exactly what we want. So this file will cut for us. All right, so now I'm just gonna set the rest of my settings, okay? I like to change, where is it? My uh, quality settings, I like to change this to uh, sign and display. And you can, you know, manipulate your file further if you want to, if you need to rotate the orientation, if you wanna scale, if you wanna make, you know, more, two copies or something like that. Whatever it is that you want to do, um, you are able to do that. In this case, you know, we're going to keep it simple. I, I would normally crop off some of this white space, but I'm going to keep it simple. Then you're going to click OK. All right. And you're just going to pull it into the rip. Oops. Let's see. Drag into the rip. It will do its thing that it does in the rip. And once it's done there, you can see the status is going up. It's at, currently at 1%. This doesn't take very long usually. Once it's done there, there you see it jumped to, now it's at 42%. Once it's finished in there, we will pull the file into print status. And it will then go and do its print first and then cut. And that is the easiest and fastest way if you are a Silhouette Studio user to add a cut line. So unfortunately you are using three programs. You're going from Silhouette Studio, um, you're, you know, you're adding that cut line by making the trace line. And then you are moving that into Adobe Illustrator just so that you can get the very specific color. Unfortunately you can't name a color in Silhouette Studio which is why we can't do it over there. And then you are finally bringing it into VersaWorks to send it to do the print and cut job. So now the last step would be for me to drag this into print status and then the print and cut would begin.